Now for that last exercise, you, you want to check? Is, is everything all good? All right. So here's another one, right? Where, yes, this involves a, a piece of equipment, but this is a super cheap piece of equipment. <laughs> and again, you go into every local fitness center has a hundred thousand dollars worth of machines there. And this thing's like 60, 70 bucks. Right. Not, not to mention more people could figure out I was doing this before it existed. I was literally taking whatever strapping weights to my foot <laughs> and seeing, I want to see how strong I am to lift my foot off the ground. So a lot of slow guys will find they have weak hip flexors. Okay. They can't get whatever force you put out. You then have to pick up your knee. So yeah, if I could only do actually, if I could only do two exercises to take existing training and turn it into horizontal speed, well, just look at your stride, the Nordic and the hip flexor lift. Those would be my bench and my, my bench and squat right there. I want to be the strongest guy on the court in the hip flexor and the Nordic that's going to turn it. And then we mentioned the tibialis and we even mentioned the reverse step up because if we're going to go faster, we have to break harder. So really all we've mentioned is four exercises. That's pretty simple. Two of them. And we, and we mentioned the, the lean back more for like bulletproofing. It's not like that has like a direct, like, you know, correlation on something. Whereas this is more direct. And when they've tested sprinters, the biggest muscular size difference between a, a, an elite sprinter and a regular human is the size of the hip flexors. But we don't walk around like, hey, bro, have you seen my, my hip flexors? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's not happening. Like, it's not, yeah. like we see our pec, biceps, quads, even maybe even hamstrings. We don't see those hip flexors. So yeah, if I could only have two for speed, it would be the Nordic and the hip flexor lift. Both of them, your gym is not set up for. Both of them, very simple. And I'll send you one of those as well. They took oh. it, I think, from like uh, like biking technology, okay. like for the foot, and then they just turned it so you can just you just put it onto any dumbbell, and so it turns a dumbbell into a weight okay. on your foot. But but I will show you at least like there's ways you can work on this, and it's not like it's not like the best, but like here would be a simple test, okay. not something complicated, not something that everyone can't do, but like can you hold your body off the ground? Sure. If someone couldn't, then that would be a simple way to know that your hip flexor was too weak. Okay. So I'm just saying that like you can start on all this stuff like today. You could start in some Capacity. way, shape, or form. And, and then you want to be getting yourself the tools that you need for your sport. It's not your fault that your local 24-hour fitness is not set up for sport. It was designed based on bodybuilding. When did exercise get popular? Arnold Schwarzenegger popularized exercise. Pele didn't popularize exercise. Yeah, right. Had he popularized exercise, every gym would have come to these conclusions and had these kinds of tools, right? So, so a bodybuilder doesn't need, you know, these performance exactly. tools or these areas that no one, that no one sees, you know what I mean? That's it. So, uh, so the hip flexor, so I'll send you one of those Love it. and I'll send you that, uh, that tibia bar and I'll send you a slant board too, which I the saw slant that. board really helps to that really helps develop the legs to then have the stable knees, to have the leg power. Cause we mentioned we do want leg power. So how do we get that leg power without having to get into like stiffening lifts or super heavy weights? You can get sick legs. All right, this would be, I'm at wow. 2%. So let's just That's look at the last life. one because yeah, because what we up. haven't mentioned is putting force down. So, on YouTube, I, I made it as a public video recently. I keep some of the, the form videos public. And it's um the, the first word is vertical jump. So if you just go to my page, it's like vertical jump increase. I just put it out. Vertical jump increase without weights. My video probably, yeah, let's see if that pulls up. None of those. Oh, there, there. The fourth one down. There's the fourth one down. Fourth one. Uh, it's not going to be that one. Fourth one down. That one right there. Okay. So, so... This, this is an exercise that just about anyone could start, but, and you could start with assistance. So I've helped people in their seventies, eighties, even nineties, get into those leg strengthening exercises by wow. using assistance. You put a chair on either side, but now scroll towards the end and you'll see me doing it on one leg in a variety of ways. So again, what equipment is needed? Your body plus a slant board with good grip on it, which you could go build. So you could go build this, let it just play out because it's going to go from to different levels 
you can get that force. You see, my legs are not small. You know what I mean? It's sure. not like I'm only training these other areas. I'm also training the ability of my legs and my glutes to put force into the ground. Exactly. And if you like, if you think this is easy, the level five is hands behind back on one leg. <laughs> so you can build elite level. Like this is not easy. You can build elite glutes and legs with literally just a slant that someone could go get a piece of wood, get that wheelchair traction tape. You could build your own. I'm going to send you one. Love it. I like to have a board, you know, it keeps yeah. it simple, but it's not something you couldn't figure out yourself. So that's where I kind of wanted to finish it off. If you can do those evenly well on either leg, like it's nothing lifting your own weight for soccer, do you ever need to get under a bar and squat? <laughs> Hell no, you don't. And most people who get under a bar and squat cannot put their hands behind their back and, and do go that. all the way down like that on either leg. That's it. Yeah. I mean, uh, sign up for Goal Remy Nation because it is the members only group where you can actually get better as a baller.